Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. On today's video, we're going to be discussing the safety information and the operation information for the all-new lateral thrusters for Yamaha jet boats. In this video, we're going to talk specifically about some of the things we recommend, uh, some of the things we recommend against, uh, and basically to get you up to speed about how to properly use your lateral thrusters and some things that you just need to know uh, in order to pass that information on to other operators that may be driving your boat as well. Uh, when you open your uh, lateral thruster box, you're going to get on the very top of the uh, uh, contents, there's going to be a uh, document like this. Yours may be in color. Uh, it's going to say stop. It's extremely important for you to read fully all of the information contained in this publication prior to operating your boat with lateral thrusters installed. We also recommend watching this video. Um, we want to make sure that everyone understands fully uh, that adding this product does give you a lot of additional control. There's some things that you do need to know prior to uh, letting someone else drive your boat that may not be that familiar with it. Um, first thing uh, is listed is the safety information and I'm going to quote to you what uh, Yamaha says in their uh, owner's manuals. It says, uh, do not re use the reverse function to slow down or stop the boat as it could cause you to lose control, be ejected, or impact uh, the steering wheel or other parts of the boat. Uh, this is a sticker, by the way, that you're going to find near your throttle quadrant on your boat. Uh, so you might want to take a look at that. Uh, it says this could increase the risk of serious injury. It could also uh, damage the shift mechanism. Uh, reverse function on these boats uh, can be used to slow down during slow speed maneuvering, such as when docking. Uh, once the engine is idling, you can shift to reverse, gradually increase engine speed. Uh, make sure that there are no obstacles or people behind you before shifting into reverse. That's the end of the Yamaha's reference. So what they're saying is basically it's okay to use the reverse to slow the boat down when you're at docking speeds, trailer loading speeds, anywhere where you're obviously slow. But at high speeds, they don't want you using this uh, reverse function as a brake. It's not what it was designed to do. It's not what all the components were designed to do. And they don't want you to do anything that would be considered unsafe. Um, our recommendation is obviously to do what Yamaha says. Uh, however, we do realize that while using the reverse function around docks, it is necessary to slow down. With using a set of lateral thrusters, uh, with your uh, Yamaha jet boat, it's important to understand that if the steering wheel is straight, where there's no rotation left or right, it's just dead straight, your reverse is going to function as, uh, as, as if there were no lateral thrusters installed. However, if I turn the steering wheel one direction or another, a portion of your reverse is going to be directed laterally. Uh, what this means is, is you may not have quite as much ability to slow the boat down going to a dock if the steering wheel is turned hard over. Uh, so you may need to give it a little bit more throttle in order to offset some of that, thr that thrust being uh, diverted laterally. That's what it talks about in this uh, paragraph, of, uh, in the safety information paragraph. Um, we also uh, recommend that uh, once you have installed your lateral thrusters, that you, the first voyage or maybe the first couple of times you go out, to go find a safe place with no obstacles and no potential for contact and get familiar with the system, uh, something that you can practice and get, and get confident. Uh, and also, make sure that anyone else that's driving your boat gets a chance to watch this video and read the safety information just so that they're fully aware how to properly use the lateral thrusters and obviously use your Yamaha jet boat. Um, we also uh, include a sticker with each of these kits. Uh, it's a notice that basically says, watch this video. It's got a link, it's got a QR code, it'll let you very quickly from a smartphone or tablet uh, find this video anywhere that you might be if you're on the water, if you want to show it to someone that's with you to give them kind of an update. Uh, just simply uh, refer to the sticker. Make sure that sticker is affixed to the area near to the throttle uh, quadrant on your boat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stick ours right next to the Yamaha sticker that has that same safety information about uh, not using the reverse as a brake. Um, there's a QR code on the um, uh, information here, obviously reference with the address in case you need to go back to this video at a later date. On the back side here you'll notice that it says uh, a picture of the twin engine version. Now on a single engine obviously there'd be a picture of the single. This is a starboard right side unit. I'm just going to show you where the inlet is and where the outlet is. The inlet will be where water comes in. The outlet is where water comes out. And in this portion of the video we'll talk about the, the safe operation. So basically the lateral thruster was designed to give you a, a lot of additional reverse control uh, while maneuvering in those docking areas, trailer loading and things of that nature. We want to make sure that we gave uh, customers the additional control over the stern in a windy condition or in conditions where there was maybe a current, uh, the ability to side shift the boat laterally to give you just a lot more uh, control in that reverse function. Uh, and that's what it was designed to do. The way that that is accomplished, if you'll focus with the camera here, if you'll notice on the twin engine version, we have a left side and we have a right side unit. They are 
uh, opposite to one another. The inlets are on the inboard side on both pumps. So if I'm going to uh, use the lateral thrusters so that you understand how this works, uh, I put the boat in reverse. That's going to drop my reverse gate down. It's going to direct water out of the outlet here on the bottom. And as I turn the steering wheel over, a portion of that reverse thrust is going to be captured by the lateral thruster. You notice as I turn it hard over, I'm going to pick up about a third of this reverse thrust coming out is going to go into the inlet on the lateral thruster. That thrust is going to be redirected around a 90 degree angle, it's an additional 60 degrees beyond the factory 30 degrees, and now I'm going to have lateral thrust shooting out the side. The factory thrust, we still have about two thirds of the factory thrust going the direction it would always uh, would, would go from the factory configuration. So we're taking a portion of the reverse thrust and bending it around to a lateral position to give you control in a very measured way. It's not aggressive, it's not intimidating, but it's enough to give you control, control over the stern uh, and also in an intuitive way. Uh, conversely, over on the, on the port side, excuse me, starboard side motor, if you'll notice, if I turn the steering wheel this direction, this pump now is no longer uh, sending water into the lateral thruster, all the water is going under the boat. And now our right side is capturing about a third of that lateral thrust or that reverse thrust and sending it around to a 90 degree angle. So on a twin engine version, uh, no two units will be working at the same time. If you're using the left, the right side won't be working. If you're using the right, the left side won't be working. Um, one note about twin engine operation, if you really want to get good at this and maybe some more advanced maneuvers, if you want to leave your, uh, one of your throttles in the neutral position, you can use the other throttle and it gives you a lot more lateral control as compared to using both throttles at the same time. You can split the throttles. And what we've learned is if you want to, to, uh, to push the boat, let's say I want to take the left side of the boat and I want the left, or excuse me, take the right side of the boat and push it to the left, meaning that I want the, the boat to shift towards the left, use the engine on the side uh, that's connected to basically the, the push. If I want to push the boat to the left, use the right side engine to push left. Imagine that right side, if you're out there standing pushing the boat, pushing towards the left, it's the right side engine that's going to give you the push towards the left, and vice versa. If I want to push that left side of the boat to the right, use that left motor, it's going to push the boat to the right. Something that I kind of think about is how do I want to push the back end, and then I can choose the motor quickly, which corresponds to that, that pushing motion. It'll help you out with your <coughs> becoming proficient with using the product. Um, also, one more uh, recommendation you'll find in the uh, instructions here. Uh, newer Yamaha jet boats like this one here, uh, they have a restrictor or a limiter on the reverse. So when you put it into reverse, uh, you're going to max out at about 4,000 RPMs in reverse. Older model Yamaha boats, you uh, did not have that limitation. You could rev wide open throttle in reverse. We don't recommend that with the lateral thrusters installed. We recommend that you don't exceed 4,000 RPMs. That's just to ex uh, make sure that you extend the life of the product to ensure that it's going to be um, uh, functioning as intended for the li entire lifetime that you own the product. So uh, just FYI there. Um, for more information specifically about how to use this product, feel free to contact us anytime. You can reach us through jetboatpilot.com. Uh, there you can reach us through email or phone. Obviously we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're on all the forums. Uh, so you can reach us obviously any way you'd like to. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to, to reach out to us. And uh, obviously we appreciate you watching this video today. We hope it's been helpful to you. Thank you. Have a great day.